the award ceremony like a queen. Hey! It's great. <laughs> Michelle McConaughey, woohoo! I am the guest columnist on Comedy Wham and owner of Moon Cricket Productions, and I am here with <laughs> Joelle Nicole Johnson, Moon Cricket. That's hilarious. <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that hilarious? Tell me that's not hilarious. <laughs> yes. Very, like, why, do, very, very. why do people try to be racist? That's just poetic racism. I'll take that. That's a very good poetic racism. My, my grandmother used to say spooks, <laughs> and um, that's just extra funny because she was a black woman. <laughs> Spooks, aces. I mean, these, where are people coming with this? <laughs> just I'm, I'm a big fan of a porch monkey, too. <laughs> right? I think creative. I mean, it's like people were sitting around and it was like, we just can't think of enough ways to call black people. We we yes. have to keep thinking yeah. of it. <laughs> I, like creation. I like creative racism. <laughs> <laughs> I went to, um, where is that? I, we were at True Hotel by Hilton in, in Baton Rouge, and they had some sugar, and the, the little canister said white sugar. <laughs> and for some reason, I was like, man, if I just had a marker, I could make this white <laughs> whites-only sugar. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe it could be whitey sugar. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just... <laughs> Yeah, you can just take that a bunch of ways. <laughs> and then grab it and be like, oh, so this the whites only sugar for sure? Yeah. <laughs> the black sugar. It's just as sweet. It's <laughs> just as sweet. Amen. Might be sweeter. Amen. <laughs> yes. Oh, my goodness. It is great to talk to you. Um, how are you doing? I am absolutely exhausted. As you, I was just in Austin for the Moon Tower Comedy Festival, and I had to book flights with layovers. Eel. So, um, I don't know. Do you watch Succession? I have not seen Succession. Okay, for for your listeners that uh, love Succession, uh, there was a scene where one of the kids had to fly a scheduled flight instead of a private jet. This is my equivalent of that. I had to fly a layover, and I feel, like, uh, very sad about that. You're like, so this is what the world is now? Layovers? I know. <laughs> this is the world coming to Joyelle is slumming it. Oh, my goodness. So, um, I guess I'll start with the questions. You, you give me time for three questions, I'll start with the questions. Sure. Number one, like... What do you? What brought you to Moon Tower Comedy Festival? What are some some of the highlights of your career that you like? Man, this got me to this space, and I enjoyed having a good time at Moon Tower Comedy Festival. What the you? highlights of my career? Um, I I done late night three times. I did Seth Meyers and the Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon yeah. twice last year. Yeah, um, and then I have a badass manager. Uh, she's my mom slash manager, um, not my real mom, but she is like a mom for me because she definitely says things like, hey, could you answer those emails that I <laughs> Could yes. you make sure you're on time for that audition? You that need you those people in your life. So she's the best. So it's mostly, I, I'm going to say, you know, it's a little bit of me, but a lot of bit of her. <laughs> so the highlight of your career is, career is really getting a uh, mom manager person <laughs> who keeps you in order so you can have these great opportunities, huh? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. The highlight of the career is definitely getting a manager. I'm going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> and congratulations on your, um, your television appearances, Jimmy Fallon, all that. That's lovely. Thank you. I appreciate you asking me a question that allows me to brag immediately off the bat, you know? Off the rip. That's what you're supposed <laughs> to do. <laughs> I'm amazing. Let me tell you why. <laughs> yes. Anyone has any questions? I'm amazing. <laughs> well, I can say that I can. I know that for sure because I got to watch you um, interview Robin Thede during the uh, Moon Tower Comedy Festival, and y'all were having just black joy up there. Oh, it was Black Girl Magique yes. in the building. Yes, it was such a fun interview. Um, we could have just chatted all day. I mean, it was like hard to wrap it up, as you saw. Everyone was asking questions. We were all so very engaged at, um, 
you know, hearing about that amazing woman's career. So what, for, for you, I guess what makes your comedy, like, feel good to you? What's your feel, what's, what's the feel good that you get from comedy? That I get from comedy? Yeah, from performing. Oh, God, the feel good for me is when people come up to me afterwards with smiles on their faces, and I know that I put joy into their heart. That is the feel good for me, because I thought I wanted to be a doctor growing up, and then I realized I didn't want to take inorganic uh, chemistry. So, <laughs> but I realized I just wanted to heal people, and yes. laughter is healing, so that's my my joy when somebody comes up to me and is just has a big old smile on their face and lets me know that I made their day better. I absolutely love that and agree with you that laughter is medicine for sure. Yes, and we need it right now. We've always needed it, but especially now. Yeah, now, because when we walk in a store or anywhere, we're looking at everybody side-eye like, mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> I don't know I you. Stay, I stay side-eye. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we might have to just put that on all posts, like it comes automatic on every post, like, yes, I'm side-eyeing. <laughs> yes, because basically, you can see my face. I'm side I think Robin actually, she posted a picture in the picture. I It looks like I'm side-eyeing. I was like, that's <laughs> the face I'm making at like yes <laughs> oh sorry that i have resting side eye face that's what i, I do i totally do <laughs> well that is awesome and i think that um having a platform and deciding like for me i'm doing this so that i can add some healing into the world is a beautiful thing yeah yeah it's a pure it's a pure pursuit it is altruism but you know also i like when people just tell me i'm awesome i mean I mean, <laughs> it's, it's a good feeling. Yeah. You ever get off the um, get off the uh, stage and you know that it wasn't your best set because everybody kind of gives you like a you know a nod, but they they keep their distance. <laughs> I mean, you can't be a comedian. You can't be you can't be a comedian without having that experience. Like that's part of the game. That happens to all of us. Every single last one of us has had that feeling. Yeah. And it, not fun. <laughs> well, you got to walk. You got to do that, like walk through the the crowd of other comedians and just be like, "All right, <laughs> uh, yeah. I do want to get to my car faster. Yeah. Thank you for not stopping walk me." <laughs> straight out to my Uber and leave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Um, and I don't want to keep you. So the the I'm already on your third question. See how quickly you get to thir three questions. Oh, that was quickly, quickly. Yes. Um, I, I probably snuck like five other questions in there, but that's all right. <laughs> no worries. Um, for the third question, I just wanted to say, first of all, thank you for taking the time for this interview. And then ask you, as a black woman comedian, is there some advice that you have for other black women out there? They're like, I'm funny. I want to do this, but I don't really know, you know how to start or, or you know, what things to look out for in the business. Oh, absolutely. I'm full of advice. Um, <laughs> I, I definitely tell everybody I'm a huge list maker. I talk about it on stage. So anything that you want, anything you want to achieve, write it down somewhere. Yeah. Look at the list. Keep the list updated. Be very specific on your list and dream as big as you want. I wrote down I wanted to do The Tonight Show, and I did it twice last year. So, <laughs> you know, anything you want, write it down. Um, also, getting on stage and showing up to hang out are equally important. Um, I learned that in Los Angeles because all you did back when I started about 15 years ago was hang out because there wasn't enough stage time in LA. Yeah. Um, and then when I got to New York, I got to the brass tacks of like getting on stage as much as possible. But learning that networking is so important. And a lot of people, you'll get a job just because you were there. And somebody's like, hey, you, you, you want to open for me this weekend in you know, yeah. Connecticut? Because you were and there, with, yeah. With that being said, you know, um, if somebody, if you want to pursue stand-up, you know, I wouldn't suggest it. It's a terrifying <laughs> pursuit. But if you are crazy like me, I think that you just need to be around the people that you want to be around, you know. Yes. Um, somebody after the panel, he said he was a photographer, and he asked me his advice. He asked me for advice because he said he wanted to, like, take pictures for um, you know, the Tonight Show and stuff like that. And I was like, well, you got to move out of Austin, buddy. Um, it's yeah. a break to you. 
but you also part of it is showing up you know you come to a panel you people are there in the industry you network you talk to people and figure out where the, where the comedy is and talk to who will talk to you you know and ask questions i i asked so many questions my first year i'm still asking questions but my first year stand up I asked everyone, what's your advice to a new comedian? And um, my favorite piece of advice that I got was, if you're saying anything that makes someone laugh, write it down, because mm. you can probably use that on stage. So just like you said, you asked like five questions. I think that was like 80 pieces of advice. Yes. <laughs> that is helpful for someone listening. You're like, I'm going to give all 80 pieces of advice right now, because I don't know, y'all folks don't listen too long. But when you are listening, you need to get as much as you can get. Amen. Basically, basically. Man, I appreciate that because I, I, I hear that part about, I was just talking to Jackie Cation um, as well, and she has been doing comedy for 35 years, and one of the things she said was also about, like, getting a phone call because she was basically on the list. Somebody knew her. And right. because you were known by someone else, that opened an opportunity for her to do her, um, like, her first 30-minute special. And so that network oh, piece is so important. Yes, and I love Jackie Cation. That is a good person. She's such a good person, and she's one of those people that keeps you grounded. You know, it's very difficult to be a female in this industry. And um, when when you got some good ones, it's good to stick together. So yes. I definitely love Jackie. Yes, 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 yes. And I'm going to take that as another piece of advice. Stick together. You know, good people yeah. stick with some good people. Yes. Yeah, because no, everyone is not good. Our industry is trash, but <laughs> <laughs> there are some good nuggets of people, and that just makes those people stand out even more. Amen to that. Well, how about, since you, you've given us your time, you've given us your advice, now how about drop some socials or some, some ways that we can, uh, what we should be looking out for you? I am at Joyelle Nicole across all of social media, and Check out my special, Love Joy. Um, that was on Peacock. It came out last year, mm -hmm. and I got nominated for a Critics' Choice Award, mm -hmm. which was a lot of fun because I, I got to touch Halle Berry at that award ceremony like a creep. Hey. It was great. <laughs> I understand that. <laughs> I understand yeah. being like, hello, I'm fangirling. I'm fangirling right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like, I just want to touch you. Her hands are very tiny. <laughs> Who would have thought? Teeny tiny pants. I True. bet she could get out of handcuffs uh, really easy. <laughs> True Hollywood stories. <laughs> basically. Yeah, basically. Like, how do you have to this way? Left, right, and around the corner. Um, <laughs> oh, well, it has been a pleasure. Thank you for your time. And uh, yeah, this has been Three Questions with Rochelle McConaughey. I hope you've enjoyed it. <laughs>